All right, how's it going? My name's IPA Fan, and today we are joined by none other than Sean, the owner of 17% Drip, making some killer glassware. Um, so let's go ahead and introduce ourselves and the beer we're chugging today. Like I said, my name's IPA Fan, and I am drinking Hella Murky or Hella Merc from uh, Pure Project, collab with Moxa. Ricky? All right, so Ricky with the Good Beer here, and I am drinking Mother Earth Brewing Company, Nitro Cali Cream, thanks to uh, Ice Queen over there. <clears throat> Bruja? So last week, I did not pass my chug, so I'm going to be doing it again. Uh, Dos Encantos collab with Brujeria and uh, Tusum. Cool. Uh, hey, Ice Queen? Queen? More. I'm Ice Queen, and today I'm going to be chugging North Park in pure collab. We can mark it out. Nice. Mm. Gordy. Gordy drinks craft here, and I'll be chugging uh, Tropical IPA by uh, Alvarado Street. So, wow. rocking that flavor today. Jay Hunt. Craft Witness here. Uh, I'm going to be chugging uh, Water Balloon Fight Club. Beer Lover. What's up, Beer Lover here? Uh, Daydream So Hard, collaboration with Jay Wakefield uh, and other head, Berliner Weiss, a uh, lemon, lime, and milk sugar. Yes. Rich. <laughs> that's a that's a super sour one there. Al. Yeah, hey, I know. So, Drunken Monkey here. Um be chugging uh the Claw Sour Me series. This is the strawberry grape nerds. Nice. And our special guest, Sean. I'm gonna be chugging the drill. Hey, why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> My LTP, my boys out in uh in West Coast, they're doing it pretty good for me. So y'all, the drip is uh Double IPA, pretty damn fruity. So I'm ready nice. to rock and roll with that, baby. Nice. Uh, we're actually going to have uh, Tyson on here in a couple weeks, hopefully. We're nice. Doing his, uh, that one he's collaborating with, uh, District 96. So should be good. All right. If you haven't already poured it out, go ahead and pour it out. Yo. We're the homie glass. Gary, I see you, bud. <laughs> I think everybody's got one. My boy. Rich, I take it you had this beer before. Uh, <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. up. You just took a sip. It's super, super sour. I had no idea. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's... yeah. I get I got this from a trade and I thought it was gonna be a little bit more uh, softer, but this is really acrid. So look at that. Um, <laughs> all of that, baby. All of that. All right. So uh Gordy, you're actually in the center. Go ahead and uh, count it down. All right. You're not already poured out. Make sure you are. Everybody ready? Yep. Sure. Right. One, two, three. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Still got it. Mine was tasty. Still got it. Oh, super cold. Super sour. Get it, bro. Get it, bro. Huh? So yeah. cold. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you didn't let them up this time. Oh, shit. You got to give it that five minute grace period to warm up. That cream ale will <laughs> now go down smoothly, man. <laughs> cream ale? Uh, my didn't even, that, that last swallow was kind of, kind of thick. <laughs> Burping up that foam. That's what LCB is known for, right? That, that little last end. <laughs> A little too much foam on mine. Wow, I'm realizing we don't have any more burps, guys. We're kind of getting like real pros on here. <laughs> They're coming. Doing my cruiser and my Willie Nelson Snoop Dogg. Oh, puff, puff, chug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's my boy. But I don't know how you guys do it, but uh, after you chug, I'm going to go ahead and sip a little bit. I got a little tart raspberry home meat from my boy down in San Diego. Nice so I'm going to sip small. While we, <laughs> there you go. That's the that's the cruiser beer. Yo, that's oh, the five. Hey. Yo, Afro. <laughs> hey. That's exclusive. Sorry, yeah, buddy. I didn't I didn't know nothing about this, but as soon as you you posted this, like I watched everything and I love it, man. <laughs> that's been in the work for my God, man. Um, like six months. We oh. it, it was a big deal with the artwork with my boy down in uh, Orlando, uh, Ozzy. If you. I'll tag yeah. you guys on Ozzy. He's like a animatic genius. Uh, like 200,000 followers, but it was a 
basically we worked it out. Just put it like that. We worked it. <laughs> John, you and I, you and I were messaging back and forth talking about that. You showed, you sent me the link to his page, and I was just blown away by his yeah, artwork. That, that young kid is dope, man. Um, yeah, he's he's pretty dope. So what's uh what's everyone cruising with, Ricky? All right, man. So I have that Strata Bomb North Park again. Thanks to Ice Queen. You know, I'm uh, uh first time having it, so hopefully it's a good uh, a double <clears throat> hazy. Uh, 8.5 ABV. Hoping for a lot of that strata, man. Oh. I'll go with J Reams. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that. Coquito, Coquito. Uh, that's how you say it. You J Reams. But, but anyways, uh, <laughs> not bad. A little bit sweet for my taste, but uh, not bad at all. Bruja? Yeah, well, if you guys ever had Coquito, Coquito is super sweet. That's like straight. Uh, um, creams and, and sugar and stuff. It's, it's supposed to be very sweet. So, mm-hmm. super sweet. a lot of coconut. We love that. Bruja. Oh, I am drinking a local brewery revolt out of Mount Clair. It's called Hey Rick IPA with Columbus, Raquel, and Nelson. Uh, my stomach's a little bit full just right now, but I'll like, give you a, <laughs> an update in a minute. <laughs> Ice cream. I actually have um, from IPK. She sent me this Fuzz Lightyear. Nice. It's a sour hazy with peach Madagascar vanilla. <coughs> Is that, that, that the one with the Buzz Lightyear one? one? Yes, yeah. seven, 7%. Gordy? I am drinking Spinning the Yard by a Green Cheek. So it's solid, nice, clean West Coast IPA, you know. The reason I started drinking because I love these clear IPAs and they're delicious. So we need to bring them back. We need to bring the clear ones back. Yeah, let's not get carried away. Jay <laughs> <laughs> Hump. Um, I got this other half, Loose Diamonds. Uh, thanks to Ricky, the good beers. Um, it has uh, Galaxy, Citra, Sabro, Simcoe, and Cashmere Hops. Nice. And that's a uh, 5.7. Beer lover? Uh, I'm actually having George. Uh, this is from uh, Hill and Farmstead. It's, a, it's a, a brown ale. I'm going old school, I guess you want to call it old school, but this is absolutely beautiful. It smells fantastic. It's fine. Like brown. It smells great. Rich? I'm going with, uh, I, I remember my first check-in untapped. Nice. <laughs> this, this is the sour ale from uh, The Vale. It has uh, raspberries and blueberries. That's the veil, or is that uh, from uh, Skygazer? I thought that the was veil. Skygazer. This one's the veil. Okay, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know other companies were doing that series. I, I saw one of those cans from uh, Skygazer. I had the same exact can. Nice. And Sean, you said you had a mead. What? <laughs> yo, yo, I had a mead, but my boy just, <laughs> my boy just came over and handed me this this green dope looking beer. It's um, corporate ladder and pure banana visor, uh, extraordinary blood. So, yo, it's pretty dope. Uh, it has a cool color to it. Yeah, green, I mean, like stupid thick green. Yeah, I'll, I'll yo, take hey, that. Hey, hey, <laughs> What's the flavor of that? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yo, facts. De- de- <laughs> delicious. Beer Hulk, come here for a second. Yeah, what's, oh, what's man, in I love his reactions. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, facts. No. Oh. Beer Hulk. my dad. <laughs> what is in this, man? We need an instant replay of that. Uh... Yo, uh, I gotta... My, my rider dot just came over. <laughs> Yo, everybody, this is Beer Hulk. What's up, man? What is in this, man? This The flavor is like mad. It was excellent. What's the flavor? Like what are the adjuncts in that? Candy. It, it's just candy, sweet, thick. Um, no, we like them thick. I can't read that small, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's an apparently Berliner. Shit, I can't see it either. My eyes ain't good enough. <laughs> it, it, it really is good, man. It, it, it has a very, beer more. <laughs> a very small tart, but marshmallow taste to it. But mm. uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Damn. It caught my guard. I was expecting some garbo. Hey, Sean, how's, the mouth, how's, how's the mouth feel on that? 
Um, it's like a medium. Um, it's pretty thick, like a like a, like a uh, jam or whatever. Oh, there you go. Mango, pineapple, peach, pear, apricot, Ooh. And honey. Dang. Holy Damn. shit. That's a, bomb. That's a lot. <laughs> that caught me off guard. This, that, hey, I put my knee to the side. <laughs> Yo, so big shout out to Corporate Ladder, man. Yo, if y'all run across that, it's dope. Everything I've had from it's very good. I know it's kind of backwards. I need to. Nice. It's dope. Not to, not to look them up. Yeah. Hey, that caught me off guard. Sorry about that, y'all. That caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're keeping it. We're keeping it true here. So, so um, I think one of the big things we're going to do, if it's all right with you, Sean, is literally just shoot you questions or really anything you want to tell us about. You know, your story, uh, your company, etc. Uh, actually, yeah. Well, but, how about we go with that? Just tell us about you and uh, about your company. Whatever you wish people to know in general. Well, basically. Um... Fun fact, we started off uh, right about a year and a half ago as 12% drip. 12% um, was our in the middle percentage that we like barley wines. We're a barley wine freaks over here in Texas. So um, some things came up. <laughs> so 12% had to go away. Uh, it was a small conflict with a company up in New York. Um, twelve percent import. Yeah. Um, they felt like we were jumping on their name. Hey, we don't produce beer. We don't make beer. We don't touch beer. We don't do nothing with beer. We trade merchandise. Uh, they are distributors. Um, they also make a little beer. So you know what? They've been in the game for ten years. I was in the game for three months. I had to take a couple thousand dollar L to rebrand everything. So we we had so much stuff going on with percent trip. So we uh, put our brains together and I thought about, yo, what's my favorite barley wine of all time? What I feel like is Jesus good. A deal with the devil. A deal with the devil is 17%. So I'm a 17% deal for devil fan, Anchorage Brewery. So that's where 17% come. Um, we rock with that because, you know, we like dope high percentages. And then the drip is just, drip is a lifestyle. Flamboyant. I mean, that's what just drip with. It. It's like so, wet. Exactly. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're going to wet. Forward. And so <laughs> it all came together. You know, so we've been a game for like, oh my God, eight, mm -hmm. nine, ten years because we're also the Dallas Beer Squad. <clears throat> um, network. Uh, across the country with uh, organized bottle shares with, from beer zombies all the way to uh, 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 have New York to beer cans. So we just do organized bottle share. And so I was in the process of open up a brewery. Me personally, it doesn't make sense in Texas. Me personally, not knocking no one else, but me personally. Um, because fun fact, my real job is aviation. I'm a quality control engineer for a company called Dallas Air Motors. We nice. work on jet engines all day long. Mm -hmm. So I want to find something to make me leave my career. Opening up a brewery, it's not enough for me to move my career, leave my career. Uh, and the thing was, with so many investors, by the time you get your piece of the pie, it's not what you think it is. So I stayed with my career and I couldn't leave crap beer. So I want to be the supporting role. Um, merchandise, that's where we come in. You got a brewery, you concentrate on cooking your beer. You concentrate on uh, uh, your hops and your, your, your CO2s. <laughs> Let me do the merchandise. So that's where we come from. That's what we stand for. And in the mix of doing that, I, me personally, I saw a mainstream of how people make glasses. They get in one box and stay in that box and scared to step out that box. So that's another reason would drip come in. We're gonna make dumb shit, the cool shit, the political shit, the real shit. That is what it is. We're making something for everybody other than one little geographic uh, box. So that's what we're trying to do. And it's, it's, awesome. it's, been, it's been dope. It's, um, it's a team of two of us. Um, I have three different artists that I work with. I have a bunch of guest artists. Um, 
And then all my brothers and sisters that work in breweries, I've been doing so much pro bono free stuff. Just and so they throw me a bone, I run with it, man. It's more like put me in, coach. There we go. So when we run with it, you take advantage of it. So it's been going pretty good, man. I, I love the feedback. I love when people say, "Won't you try this? Won't you try that?" And put it on the back. It may not be for me, but it's for another thousand other people. I got you. you know, it, it's, it's been working, so I'm glad <laughs> I'm able to touch just about every aspect that's out there that loves to drink beer, because that's the common denominator. Beer, uh, wine, and co- what? beverage. If you drink beverage, we're trying to make something for you. Mm-hmm. I have a question for you. So you have so that's, to... that's... I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No, so, so that's, that's basically that's in the game. We're trying to try make sure everybody's happy while they sit. Cool. So you have a Kamala Harris cup that's coming out, right? Yes. How do you respond to those who are saying, like, keep the politics out of this um, and don't, like, why are you going to worship such a person or, like, anybody in politics and have them on your merchandising? Well, um, <laughs> that's a good question. You actually that, lost a good percent that, of your uh, clientele by doing that, right? Well, see, this is the thing about that, Glass. Um, politics, I'm probably 90% out of politics. I'm of such a 100% person that's in the politics, but I keep it out of my business until it hits personal. I don't give a damn about craft beer if my life is at stake. That's the way I look at something. If I feel like it's something that's going to jeopardize my life, I talk about it. I don't get silenced. This is my company. If I lose it, I lose it, but I won't lose my integrity. And for the, the question about the come happen, you really look at the glass, I did not say her name one time. If you read the description, I did not say her name one time. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I you see. look at the, the, I did not say her name one time. What that glass mean to me is glass ceilings are being broke. That anybody that have a glass ceiling on their head, there's a small step in the United States that's being broke. Right now, mm-hmm. they feel like the United States is, is separated, which it is to a degree. No, fuck that, which it is. Yep. And so if I see a glass ceiling being broken, I'm going to support that glass ceiling. Do I support everything about Ms. Harris? No, I do not. Do I support a lot of things about her? Yes, I do. Do I support what she just did? 1,000%. And I have absolutely no problem with that on that because it's not about her. It's not about what party. It's about the meaning of what she just accomplished and what America helped her accomplish. That's the meaning of glass. Not her. Breaking the glass ceiling is showing that especially young women can do whatever they want to do. That's the meaning of glass. So how do I respond to people? I'm not a prophet. I don't. I don't. I don't respond. If they ask me directly, I will answer. If they just leave a little boy or little girl comment, I let them have their time. I'm cut from a different cloth. I don't understand that cyberspace shit. Uh, what those young kids say, on, on site, I'm on site. That's the cloth that I'm cut from. So when they say something, I don't respond. Because they didn't say nothing about, fuck 17%, uh, your business need to kill themselves. Go jump off a bridge. They said, she sucks. This, that, this, that. Does it bother me? Yes. But you have the right to comment as you please. I wouldn't go on somebody else's page and say something. If I don't like it, I just won't go to the page. Right. So I don't say nothing. I let it ride unless they directly say, Sean, you suck. <laughs> I don't say, here's my phone number, call me. Oh, they don't don't email me, don't text me, just call me. That's just what it is. I mean, I have no, if you are left, right, red, blue, I don't care. <clears throat> but if it's a cause that's being broken, I support it. So next up, I like Rich, that. Rich, I think you had something to ask. No, I was just gonna, I was just gonna make the comment that as a, as a business owner, you know, you being a business owner, and as um, I just think that takes a lot of courage to stand up um, for and do something that you believe in. I mean, there's unfortunately there's a lot of people that look at the um, they look too much at the monetary factor that something plays. Like people make a lot of comparisons to 
Michael Jordan when he was still playing basketball that he didn't get into politics because he didn't want to make a political statement or a stance on anything really because he didn't want it to affect his sales. But then you look at somebody now like LeBron who is not afraid to speak out on issues that he believes in because he he just wants to support what he actually what he absolutely believes in and use his platform to do that. So you as a um, as an entrepreneur that has something um, has a, a platform of some sort that's supported greatly by the craft the craft beer community. Um, I just think it takes a lot of courage to do that to stand up and just make that. And you did uh, you did do it in a way like you said where you didn't actually call her by name and make it a complete political statement. But at the same time, you are recognizing the historical significance of this event overall and sharing yes, with the craft beer community, especially those who also feel the same way as you. I, I think it's, I just think it's phenomenal. I think it takes a lot of courage. So that's all. Awesome. I appreciate you. Um, to that Michael Jordan thing, I remember a lot of people was talking about that. Um, yeah. It's one of those situations uh, he has the right, it's his money, he can do what he mm-hmm. wants with it. Um, I always sit back and look how people count other people's coins. Uh, it's amazing. Um, but whenever something touched home, he spoke up. It was probably 20 years later. But that's his money. Everybody's different. Like I said, I'm not a prophet. I'm not going to swing from the top of the chandeliers uh, trying to convince people. I don't like convincing people. I'm at the point in life, if you grown, that what you believe in, and if I don't like it, I just don't mess with it. Yep. It's just, I, 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 I just, I, I like teaching young kids and young girls and, and young adults and young teens, but grown folks, I'm, I am not a prophet. If your mind is made up, go on rock with you. <laughs> 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 but it, 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 it was kind of hard. Um, Two of my co-partners, like, Sean, don't do it. I'm like, do it. Speak it to me. I mean, I'm sorry that you haven't had a glass ceiling over your head. I don't understand the meaning of a glass ceiling. Google it. I don't feel like explaining it. To you. But I want to do this in a tasteful way that yeah. I feel decent about it. Um, am I going to touch every political aspect? No, probably not. Um, there's also something called business suicide. I'm not going to commit business suicide. Um, I will look at the door. I will look at the cliff, but I'm not going to jump. I like that. You know, uh, LeBron them, they can jump. They got it like that. They got the security to do that. (laughs) So I would like to, oh, I have like a bunch of questions, but I want to open up to everyone else. Can we get onto a non-political question just because political questions can draw it out for like hours right. and we got a podcast so if we kind of get it moving i apologize right. for being the jerk that's saying that but um no that's no. facts man um Time ricky i think you're you're up go ahead dude yeah so i'm um talking about likenesses and stuff of people like you like you said with the Kamala harris uh uh um class and and the, like i have the I mean, I'm Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Willie, and and the Chavo, and them. Um, where, where in your business do you have to like? Uh, I know because they're likenesses of of characters that are obviously you know trademarked and stuff. How do you go around that, or how do you how do you get by that, or do you actually have to contact folks about that? Well, um, <laughs> some of the glasses um, you do, but it's this thing that we call it down in Texas. We chop the food. Right. <laughs> um, you know that. Hey, things down here. Um, let's go back to the craft beer. In the craft beer industry, um, 99% of the logos and labels mimic some type of childhood uh, a toy, game, life, candy, and exactly. <laughs> you try but, <laughs> incredible hop, <yeah>, incredible hop. <laughs> so, you, you chop and squirt it, and basically, as long as you do not use the exact logo and use names, I didn't say that was Snoop on that glass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I didn't say that was Willie. And the pixelated. Right. So you got to use some things to imagination. I will say it's right. certain people that you don't touch 
It's Walt Disney. You don't touch them. You almost play. You don't play. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't, I don't hurt some cats you don't trust. Um, you just the only what one glass that I did reach out to was um run the hop. So I did reach out to Killer Mike and his wife, and I spoke to her, well, not spoke, via text message, I spoke to her person. And I should, I said, this one I was doing 12%. I sent her the pictures, sent her the glasses. She said, cool. She said, you're making like a thousand? I'm like, nah, like, whoosh. She said, have fun, enjoy, do your thing. Thank you for reaching out. And I I, I keep that text message completely archived because, you know, I actually got through and spoke to a celebrity's wife, or it may have been an assistant. I don't know, but it was it was the hurricane. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, everybody else just was been chopped and screwed. You just try your best to make it different. Add a hop, pixelate it, change the color. Um, stay away from names. Stay away from names. Right. So you've never at any point had any problem with infringements because, like, I noticed, like, um, ice cream. Hold your glass up. You you just had a. I mean, that's my childhood right there. And I believe, uh, I mean, I love that glass. I believe uh, somebody, uh, I forgot, uh, what's the actor who owns that now? Um, oh, I can't even remember his name. But there's no infringement like problems. Like nobody's gonna say, hey, you know what? Like, you know, I know this character is, it's obviously I mean, a cartoon some, that I own. I'm, I'm sure that, well, I know some people have. I haven't. Um, if you put that right next to uh, Incredible Hulk. Only thing you can say is they got the same pose and they're, they're green. It's more of your mind telling you it's like it. I haven't used right. no names. It's not, he actually got a flat top. <laughs> he got a flat top with fur on his head. So, <laughs> so it, it's certain things you can get away with, but let me tell you the big picture. Um, some of these glasses are one offs. And <clears throat> Once they're made, they're gone. And if a company want you to, if they feel that they are you are infringement, they will contact you. Uh, you have the choice to say a or nay. If you say yay, okay, I won't make it no more. That's done. They'll send you a piece of paper. You sign it X Y Z. If you say nay, go to hell. They would have to spend money to get a lawyer, to draw up paperwork, to have you serve. Just to have you to stop. They weigh the option to see if it's worth the time for 48 glasses. Right. That's why I said, don't mess with Disney. You can make two or three glasses. It will send somebody. <laughs> this is, uh, this is got a little bit more pull. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it was Bill Cosby that I was thinking up. about. They yeah. spend money on that, but not on their people. Whoa, Whoa. 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 easy there. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Easy there. I think I think Gordy and Red is going to stay out of this one. <laughs> So it, it's, one, it's, it's one of those I, things I that everybody say is. something about it, but um, is it somewhat top and screwing? Yes. But my glasses mimic craft beer. The whole entire craft beer industry is doing it. So I'm giving everybody what you're already drinking. So if somebody says, Sean, you're not, not authentic, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm gangster at chopping scoring, but make sure you tag every other brewery in the United States if you don't mind. CC nice. me. Nice. Right. Um, it, but to answer your question, it is a certain way to, to do right. it. So yeah. want to get a question from Gordy and Jay Hump before we uh, just about run out of time. I think we have like eight minutes left. Well, I just <laughs> wanted to say, uh, what made you come up with this one? Yeah, that's this, great. What, what, uh, I, I cannot before. take, I cannot take the part. One of my, I call him my executive artist. His name is uh, Ed Elmero Mero out of LA, East LA. He calls me every morning, not every morning, every other morning at like three o'clock <laughs> in the morning with East doing <laughs> some Snoop and Willie stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, I got a dope design. I said, dude, I don't know nothing about that cartoon. He said, watch it for a couple of months and see what's going on. Dude, and that, so that, it was, that was my childhood right there. And, and that's what he that. said. I was just like. And he, he said, do it for East LA, do it for East LA. So I get it all to Ed. Once again, we're trying to cover everything for everybody. He said, this is going to make my people extremely happy. I said, yo, I trust you. So he sent me the idea. I chopped and screwed it. I sent it to one of my artists in uh, um, South Texas, Ace. And Ace put the fine filters on it and pretty much went with yeah. it from there. 
it, it's awesome. Like as soon as I saw it, I was like, I, I have to have it. I was actually yeah. introduced by your company between uh, Ice Queen and Richard. They're the ones that had it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to check it out. And then I started buying the Chente glass as well. Yeah. Obviously, I got a shirt now and the glass. So I was like, oh, I got to represent. This is a fucking yeah, I appreciate cool it, brother. Like said, that's all my boy from East LA, man. That's that's all it's. That's all his idea. Of, like I said, we've been down for like seven years. Nice. Craft wetness. Um, my question is, um, you know, the black is beautiful glass. Um, yes. <laughs> he has it ready right there. Um, did did you do that? Like, cause like you know, all the black is beautiful uh, uh, beers that came out. Did you do that with the same timing as when the beers came out? Well, well, the thing is, this glass right here was uh, a collaboration of uh, three different people. Uh, the front. <clears throat> The black is beautiful. That's that section is patented by Weathered Souls. Him and his boys did that. They sent me the file for that. On okay. The back, on the back, that's all drip, all drip and uh poor character. Poor character. Yeah. Yes. So we was like, okay, what's what's iconic? The fist. We more than just a fist. We the world. So we decided to put the world through it. And I'm from Mississippi. We always say. Um, and what we've been through down there, we're strong as an oak tree. So that's why we put the roots on it instead of just having to fix. Our roots are embedded in our soul and from Mississippi. That's just a Mississippi term. We incorporate the roots, incorporate the fists around the, uh, around the earth, and went from there. Uh, this glass came out the exact time when Willow Souls produced their first um, batch of Black is Beautiful. Uh, we sold out because we only made like 100. And then it started domino effect with all the other breweries. Four character did the first wave. It made a shitload for everybody. And we was like, okay, we're done. Then more breweries start making some. So I took the last leg and made man counties. So uh, we're out now. But we do have a few coming for uh, Christmas. Hopefully they'll be in next week. And make sure everybody get them a glass to represent how the way they feel. Cool. I got one question, but I think Rich, you got one before me. Yeah, it was just just a quick one. Um, you know, with this one, you did a, a collab with CM Bryant. Um, are you planning on possibly doing any more with with him coming in the future? Yes, we got one. Hopefully, uh, Jonathan, March. Uh, we have one um, February with Black Ninja. Um, as soon as. The doors open up. We're gonna do a lot more when I fly up there. But right now, we're, we're shooting for March. Yeah. So he, he, he has some great, great ideas. I'm teaching him how to chop and screw it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sam, so, that's my boy. He's good people, man. He's good people. Yeah, he is. So I got like 20 questions, but I'll save most for later. But one I wanted to ask it's, it's a question, but it's also a pet peeve that I have, not with you, but it's all glass makers. Why is it that, in my opinion, your best designs tend to be on like that smallest little glass, like the Chente glass you have? I, dude, no, the, the Vicente Fernandez where he's drinking that tequila one. I uh, think we were messaging back and forth. Like, I want that on a 20 ounce glass. Like, I own five of them. I love we'll that design. But why is it so many glass designers go with that tiny one that doesn't even fit a beer, but it's the best design there? The, the, the thing is, uh, I, I'm, I'm so, it's, it's the harmony glass. It's, it's the harmony glass. I am so fed up with it, but one of the companies that we go through, um, if you do 100% full color art, that's one of the only glasses you can put on. Oh, um, all right. That, so that's, whenever you see one to two to three colors, you can put that on any glass. But when you see full organic art, it gotta be on either a can glass, uh, a harmony glass, or like you said, the big 20 ounce glass. Um, they give us maybe six glasses to pick from. It's either gotcha. gonna be long art or tall art. Well, uh, not tall, but taller art. So we gotta go with either that glass or another glass. If it's 100% full color. It's, it's not us, trust me. We wish we could put it on anything. It's, it's the glass, it's one of our glass makers. So it's just trying to fit the design in the best glass. Yes, and, and obviously this glass color. is going to give you the best uh, two inches by two inches. So you can put a 15 color piece of art on it. 
but this glass rig you only got one inch. So it's, it's like useless. Yeah. That's the reason. It's not us. It's the uh, the manufacturers giving us a very limited glass to pick from. Four cost. Yeah. You guys good to know. One more question. Anybody want to get in there before we uh, cut up? I can do a follow up on that. Um, so then if you are basing your glasses like on the art on how many colors, do you never put out glasses like for a specific style with a specific art that you want? Yes, um, that's comes up when you see um, the uh, exactly her solar royalty. That TQ glass, <laughs> um, a, a bunch of my girls are like, yo, we like brunch. Oh, we're not in the animated. And I'm like, okay, she, and I love quotes. I'm like, oh, all ladies love quotes. So I, and so that art is long. That TQ glass, you cannot go no higher than like an inch. And there's no reason to make a, a cartoon character, anything full color, an inch tall. It's friendly, but you won't see it. But if you, it can go wide. So that's when we do um, uh, 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 the TQ glass with quotes. Um, but yes. Whenever somebody's giving me an idea or we come up with an idea, the first one is, is it quotes? Is it a picture? Uh, is it long art? Is it skinny art? Because it all it goes back to the glass that we're picking from. And they're like, oh, that's perfect. I want on this glass. It's not going to happen. I want on this glass. It's not going to happen. So it's, it's, it just depends on the art and the glass. On the love. Cool. Well, uh, thank you, Sean. Really, appreciate it. I think everybody agrees. Really appreciate your time. Uh, yeah, man. Thanks a lot. Anyone thank listening, you. if you guys haven't gotten your 70% drip glass, go get one because, like Sean said, they meet all criteria from the fucking bomb, bro. Anima Look at that. Yeah. Animation to like the Chenta glass to you name it. They got it. So uh, we'll have a link to his stuff so you guys can check it out too. And with that being said, we are out. Thank you. Turn